like you planned. Hello? There you are. Do not so rare that someone new comes along. From the sidelines, it's a real treat to see everyone scrambling. It's very profitable as well. <laughs> Oh, this whole thing? I suppose it did cost a few fortunes. But it is nice to travel with a modicum of style. It's not yet time. I don't even know if it will ever be. But hope in my pocketbook springs eternal. I really can't say. As much as I'd like to. It may mean nothing. But I'm rooting for you. Sorry. Can't say. <laughs> Hopefully all will make sense in time. Good luck. Please, just be careful. Very careful. I hope to see you at a much later date.
Well, hello. You hear about the job by any chance? Uh, the officer over there can help you with any bounty issues. Part-time security officer. The position's very flexible. Uh, you can basically work whenever you're available. No pressure. We've had some gaps in the schedule lately. Macy's out on maternity leave, Jose's on loan to Sidonia. When it rains, it pours type of situation. So really, we just need someone to fill the void. Interested? Well, uh, first things first, I have to ask, do you have any security experience at all? It sure counts for something. I mean, you're alive. And resilience is definitely an important trait for any officer. Well, I think I've heard all I need. Your first assignment couldn't be easier. Go to Mast and check in with Agent Plato at Aegis. There was a package left at a dead drop and they need UC security to handle it. He'll fill you in on the details. Well, just because you're bringing it here doesn't mean that's where it'll end up. As for why, you can ask Aegis. As far as I'm concerned, it's none of my business. Aegis, they're basically UC intelligence. They help identify threats to New Atlantis before they become problems. While we're separate departments, there are times we need to rely on each other, so it's important to keep a good working relationship. We do Agent Plato this favor, and maybe he'll toss us some intel when an investigation stalled. Tit for tat. You know how it works. You know, MAST. Uh, the Military, Administrative, and Scientific Triumvirate. Giant building in the center of the city? Headquarters of the entire United Colonies? I really should have given you a more thorough interview. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to discuss the details of my division's work. The security of the United Colonies is every citizen's responsibility. But we try. Ah, right. You're Sergeant Yumi's recruit. You're taller than I expected. Oh, it wasn't a compliment. Just an observation. In any case, let me fill you in. We have a dead drop that we think has been compromised. So I'd like someone from UC Security to handle the pickup instead. Take the package back to Sergeant Yumi and he'll check it in as evidence before it gets routed back to Aegis. We think non-UC affiliated groups have their eye on it and are using it to identify field agents. Normally we just burn the location, but we didn't get this intel until after the drop. So we're going to need non-Aegis personnel to do the pickup to cover our tracks. Well, I told the sergeant that anyone hired for this job should get my stamp of approval first. Nothing personal. It's just this sort of work isn't part of your normal detail. Take the NAT to the spaceport. There should be a Galbank ATM right next to the station. The package is taped under one of the benches. Grab it and deliver it to Sergeant Yumi and the job's done. We're the intelligence arm of the United Colonies. Think of it this way. UC security responds to threats. It's Aegis's job to anticipate and prevent them. You really should know better than to ask for classified intel. What is this, your first day on the job? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm just giving you a hard time. 
I still can't tell you what's in the package, though. I'm the acting head of Aegis, the intelligence division here in MAST. I oversee all our active projects and agents in the field, and I'm afraid that's about as much detail as I can give you. All you really need to know is that we're here to serve and we're the good guys. Our main priority is the safety and security of the citizens and assets of the United Colonies, wherever they may be. We keep an eye on, well, everything. You get used to it after a while, and it makes the occasions where you can all the more meaningful. Good luck with the mission. Remember our last conversation, when you told me the artifacts made you feel like you were being pulled across the entire galaxy? Well, it got me thinking, so I dove into our archives and started looking through Constellation's older journal entries. Just because I wasn't familiar with the experience you described doesn't mean the same might have been true for my predecessor. Uh, unfortunately, no. Other than you and Barrett, there were no records of direct encounters with the artifacts. I have to admit, though, I did get more than a bit sidetracked reminiscing about old times. Really? I'm surprised that I haven't. After reading those journals, all of the pleasant memories of my time spent with Aja just started flooding back. She absolutely was. Aja was the one that taught me the ropes at Constellation and took me under her wing as her protege. Hey, so I pinched a few ideas from my old boss. <laughs> Can you blame me? At any rate, we logged quite a few discoveries together but it was the actual journey that I cherished the most. <laughs> exactly. For me, it was all about the quieter moments. There was nothing quite like sitting back and watching space bend while listening to Aja spin vivid stories to fill the time. Oh, I find that sort of... Cozy isolation, the best way to really get to know someone. At this point, I'd say you've graduated from protege and moved up the ladder. A bit. You know, all this talk about Aja reminds me that my time with her was a gift. I miss her dearly. I respected her, and I considered her a dear friend, but we weren't in love. Had that been true, I would have resigned my post and moved to Parima 2 instead of remaining at Constellation. Come to think of it, if we're ever out that far, perhaps we could pay her a visit, and I could make proper introductions. Well, I don't expect you to be a carbon copy of Aja. Just be yourself. You see, it's clear that we share the same hunger to discover what's out there. And that, well, that's what intrigues me about you. I... I don't know if I deserve to be that close to anyone right now. If you knew about the things that I've done, the way my life's unfolded, I think your opinion of me might change. Please, give me some time. I, 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 I have to go. The fewer people there are thinking about Aegis on a daily basis, the easier my job is. On the tip of my tongue.
How's the invest? Still have questions? Nicely done. It's really hard to find good help these days. That being said, my luck seems to be turning around. We've gotten a lot of new personnel as of late, not just you. Who knew all I had to do was put up a sign? Well, I have you now, so I probably won't hire another person for a while. Anyway, here's your payment. And if I have any more work for you, I'll let you know.